What about yourself? Yeah, actually, yeah. I'm from I'm Bihar, from Bihar. And, uh, right now I'm starting in the first year of my graduation. What exactly oh. are you graduating in? Uh, I'm doing BSc from mathematics. That's great. Um, do you like maths a lot? I do like maths a lot. That's why I'm doing BSc from mathematics. That's great. I I personally hate maths. <laughs> I uh, have never really liked maths in my entire life. Yeah. So I took uh, art. How did you? Oh, art. Yeah, I precisely took arts so that I could drop maths. Um, but yeah, it came back to me um, three years later. I I am graduating in BA economics, so for that I do require um, to do a little bit of maths calculus basically. But yeah, now oh, yeah. I realize its importance. Actually, calculus is the toughest part of mathematics. And you used a word precisely or something. What does yeah. that mean? So precisely means to the point. Like um, I precisely or I, you know, to did this thing for this thing. So to connect two things together uh, because they followed each other. They happen to uh, be because of each other. That's why you use precisely. Oh, I got it. Yeah. So what else uh, would you like to tell about yourself? What are your hobbies? Uh, talking about my hobbies, I like to solve mathematics questions. And sometimes I like to watch televisions like movies. And with that, I like to read novels. And uh, yeah, sometimes I like to play games as well. That's all I do. That's great. So what do you like to watch on television? Uh, earlier, I used to watch serial, but uh, later on, I, I was fed up by watching serials. Then I just uh, started watching movies. And uh, yeah, sometimes I also watch news, but rarely. Okay. And what kind of movies do you prefer? Uh Mostly, I prefer to watch movies that, uh, you know, that tells us about civil service, police, administration, and all this sort of thing, because uh, I want to, like, I want to be the part of civil service, so I watch those movies that motivate me, like, you know, police and all these sort of law-related movies. I like to watch these kind of movies a lot, and sometimes I also watch scientific movies as well. That's great. So you eventually plan to give uh, UPSC, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, but before that, I have to complete my graduation. So now focusing more on to the graduation. Yeah. Um, my best friend is planning to give UPSC as well. But um, we graduate this year. So she's going to take a drop here and then give the exam. Oh, that's great. Your friend would definitely be an IS officer. Yeah, she plans to, uh, or she wants to, if I might add so. She wants to be IPS, uh, sorry, IS, um, and then her options are IPS. And I think there's something related to taxation as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that those are her three, yeah, options or preferences. Yeah, but, yeah actually, uh, everyone like uh, you know talking about priorities so IS comes on the first priority so everyone wants to be IS if not then IPS so it comes under priority it depends upon the rank you get yeah it depends on the rank exactly and IS is most people what most people go for that is what they aim yeah. for yeah apart from that uh, do you watch any English movies or you know uh, TV shows I don't watch English movies most of the time, but I watch rarely. But yeah, I like to watch Frank uh, in English. And uh, with that, I like to watch social experiment kind of videos. Yeah, like uh, okay. how, does the, yeah, uh, how does people react if girls do like this in foreign country? You know, like a kind of experiment in society. So yeah. I like social to watch experiment. these kind of videos. Yeah, social yeah. experiment. Yeah. That's great. Uh, but uh, 
it would be great if you watch more content in english because that would also help you kind of um be be more fluent uh, in a way because you learn new words um and you will learn a lot of new uh, cultural references as well so yeah it, it's good exposure in a way yeah a lot of people told me to watch english movies so i watch english movies but unfortunately i don't get good movies on youtube as well because i don't have mm-hmm. subscription of amazon and hotstar and all this so i just have to go on youtube and whatever movies are there i, I would just watch them but unfortunately i don't get a movies of my taste so yeah you could also uh, go to websites like uh, 123movies.com or go movies a lot of the uh, different kinds of popular movie and tv shows are available on these websites so you don't need to subscribe to any platform or even for that matter um, there is a new app called telegram uh, which has been yeah quite a bit in the buzz so yeah you could download that app because um, there are various groups on that app and people upload content on it if a new movie comes out then it already you know people some people actually leave it over there so yeah, yeah. you could easily download it i would have gone to website but what happens sometime the website injects a kind of virus in the cell phone and it does not work properly so you know uh more often i don't prefer to watch movies on website because it just injects virus yeah that's true but um do you have a do you watch it on your laptop or your mobile uh i watch on my cell phone okay because what i usually do is i download uh, things on my laptop and uh, the laptop already has antivirus so i don't feel like you know um there might be some uh, kind of hacking or any sort of problem so yeah yeah exactly it's more safer but yeah, anyway actually, yeah actually in my cell phone i have paytm amazon pay and all these sort of apps so i do worry on going to some website you know like they will just take my yeah. uh, upi and all these and they will just take money out of my upi id so i don't yeah. prefer to watch movies on websites that's true it's a lot more um, riskier these days because of privacy issues but yeah but there are also a certain kind of you know um, apps they are not uh, legal apps uh, but yeah some people have those apps wherein they have all movies and everything so um, that one of the apps is movies hd i think which i uh, long back i got it from one of my cousins um so yeah that i've been using for more than 5 uh, years and, uh, at this point and, and it has never cost uh, any oh where did you where did you download it from so that's the thing it's not um, downloadable from uh, app store or play store um, basically i just received it from one of my cousins to share it so yeah he just sent me that app so i yeah, don't think I mean, that is uh, yeah that, that is the problem now you can't trust on the app that you don't get directly from play store if you get app from chrome and google there would be most probably that your device your i mean your your device might be in danger so yeah prevention is better than cure now yeah correct uh, apart from that you said you read novels so what kind of novels do you like uh basically i like to read uh i mean whatever novels i get i just read them because my brother he likes to read novels a lot he just buys it and i just borrow it from my brother and i just read them like the last novels i read was the 40 rules of love oh i have been wanting to read it i think it's uh, it's in my recommendations um i've heard a few things about that book it's i've heard good things only but yeah what how is it like if you could tell me without giving any spoilers <laughs> uh yet i haven't completely gone through it but i have gone partially like uh, it tells us about the story of a woman uh, where uh, she spends half of her life in just family in serving her family okay and mm-hmm. then in that novel in that novel uh like the woman protect 
what is protagonist is that protagonist yeah it's protagonist the main character yeah the uh, that woman was a protagonist and she again read a novel in that novel like the pro- protagonist read another oh. novel in that novel so it's pretty confusing i mean <laughs> it takes a lot of time to understand it yeah i mean she's reading something else while you are reading what she's reading yeah 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 it can be a task but apart from that uh, what are the type of genres you prefer while reading books fiction non fiction uh, well uh fix well fiction non fiction like fiction is like an imagination a non fiction yeah. is like a reality reality okay. real story yeah exactly uh, i would like to like i would love to read the book that is fiction because It, it it is all about imagination something that would be barely possible to happen so yeah like uh, uh, the first novel i read was the invisible man where a man become invisible and he mm-hmm. started using yeah. his power in a wrong way so that was also one of the fiction uh, novel that i read so, and that was quite interesting so yeah i mean that is my taste fiction yeah novel i i watched the movie um, of this book i think uh, the invisible man i think this book was adapted into a movie as well so yeah i yeah. think there great. there is a lot of movies like there is a series of movie yeah i saw about 2 years ago actually i remember it so vividly because that was the last movie i watched uh, in theaters before the pandemic started so that's uh yeah that's why actually, i remember yeah actually there are some movies uh, those are common to everyone like i i guess that you must have read about lily pots novel and you must have watched movies regarding lily pots you know the small small uh, uh, human beings existing on another planet just around like this yeah I, i've heard about them uh, but i don't think i've read their books uh i've yeah oh. seen movies probably because i watch a lot of movies so yeah i could give you yeah. a few recommendations if you want for movies i would love to get recommend this and you yeah. do please if you uh, like you said um if you prefer watching true stories or you know incidents um i feel there are a few movies like forest gum um or the forest gump is a bit old uh, it's i think 2006 or 7 release but it's a beautiful story about a man who is autistic so yeah it's about his whole life so that's one of the best movies i've ever seen and if you like something you are breaking ma'am your watch is breaking ma'am hello yeah uh, now it's all right now i can hear you okay uh was i inaudible for a long time no not for long time just for a bit of time okay works so i was saying the first movie uh is for is come it's about an autistic man and the second movie i would suggest is uh, now you see me um it's a two part movie and it's about some magicians and how they um manage to you know use their uh, skill for something um that is you know for, for not good activities basically for criminal activities so these are two of my top picks to be honest uh, to start off with yeah now you see me i think i have heard a lot about this movie and yeah. once i also searched this movie on youtube but i couldn't get it over there now you see yeah. me yeah. yeah now you see it, me yeah it's a great movie yeah there are two parts yeah. but yeah both of them are equally good yeah so, and uh, what about the beauty and the beast did you did you did you ever go through it or you watched a movie on this yeah i have uh, i watched uh, the uh, the movie where uh, i think emma watson has starred in beauty and the beast uh, by disney so i watched that version because there over the period of time the story of beauty and beast is so old that over the period of time there are a lot of uh, movies made um, yeah around the same storyline 
but this is the recent one oh. um, so i watched that then i guess you must have watched aladdin as well aladdin i haven't actually um yeah oh my god i <laughs> I, i have watched a hindi version of aladdin but i have not watched the english release actually few, well, few few months back it came into cinema halls and it was fantastic movie you might have watched the old version but i would suggest you to watch the new version i mean you would love it after watching i would definitely try it out because i think it would be available now online because it released some time ago right yeah i mean uh, you would get it on hotstar even without subscription that's great then i can watch it on hotstar yeah yeah so uh, before our session ends uh, do you mind if i give you a small feedback yeah please yeah so uh Uh, on the basis of our conversation what i realized was um you do speak well and you have a good command over the language where you could probably improve is on enhancing your vocabulary so using alternatives for certain words you know um that could give you an edge over others and also you could expand your sentences more uh try to describe things uh, in a more vivid manner so that could help you incorporate more new words and learn new words so yeah these were the two things um there were no any such grammatical errors um yeah so yeah, that's actually, about earlier, earlier i was using a lot of you know like high profile words but yeah. after i stopped doing practice for long time so all this word just gone out of my mind and i don't remember all this yeah. like uh, uh, i i read a word on delaying it was like uh, uh, it was starting from b i guess don't procrastinate your work like that i mean i, I just read this kind of word a lot but i forgot all this yeah yeah, yeah I, i mean actually uh, uh, i i want to get a suggestion how would i remember a word forever not for two or three months just forever so if that is your goal then what you can do is every single day uh, when you wake up the first thing you do is look for a word that is an alternative to the word that you're using right now so if you're using a word like um say use so what is an alternative that could you know probably use instead of use yeah but not like that i mean uh, english isn't my first priority i don't want to remember it just i get up early in the morning i mean i do something else at that time like i want to remember casually is there any way that i can remember casually casually then you will have to make sure you use that word uh, at least two to three times in a day